As a patient, when you hear the word cancer, you want the best treatment available right away. After a routine colonoscopy to screen for colorectal cancer, David Wentz's doctor found a polyp that tested positive. It's the cancer no one wants to talk about and one that may mean surgery. But with his diagnosis, Wentz's doctor also offered something no other medical center in the region could provide, an innovative procedure called TEM, offered exclusively at Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center in Baton Rouge. With TEM, surgeons get a better view of the tumor and can remove it more precisely with fewer risks. For the patient, there's less pain and a shorter hospital stay. So he calls me at home and says, uh, we, one of the polyps came back cancerous. He says, what we'll have to do you may have to have bowel resection and then everything went numb after that. I, did, I heard about uh, one word out of ten. A bowel resection, the traditional standard of care for removing cancerous tissue from the colon and rectum, means major surgery. Fortunately for Went, he was a candidate for transanal endoscopic microsurgery, a new minimally invasive procedure known as TEM. It's effective for both treating and preventing rectal cancer. Wentz's doctor referred him to colorectal surgeon Dr. Kelly Finan with Our Lady of the Lake, specially trained in the TEM procedure. If a patient is found to have a suspicious appearing rectal lesion, the uh, gastroenterologist has fear there could be an early cancer or if it's just a large aggressive polyp that they can't remove in total, those are the best patients to be sent. We can deal with lesions anywhere from four centimeters to 20 centimeters from the anal verge. So basically any lesion within the entire rectum. Those are the best patients. Now patients that have an incidental cancer found in a polyp are good patients as well, or patients that might have an early cancer, which we would refer to as a T1 cancer. Those often need further investigation, and we can help investigate that if someone is diagnosed. To help determine if TEM is right for a patient, Dr. Finan does a CT scan, an ultrasound of the rectum, and a proctoscope to evaluate the location and size of the lesion. For the patient, getting ready for TEM is as simple as preparing for a colonoscopy, including a bowel prep at home the day prior to surgery. The patient is given a general anesthetic for the procedure. TEM takes only about an hour. Once the patient is asleep, the doctor uses an operating proctoscope as an aid during the procedure. We can have a microscope to look inside the rectum, attach a camera where we can project it onto a high definition screen, and we can insert some long instruments to resect and repair the rectal wall. Dr. Finan uses a cauterizing knife to remove the polyp or lesion, then closes the wound with sutures that will dissolve, resulting in less pain for the patient. In fact, most TEM patients say they have little or no pain following surgery. But if they experience any tenderness, pain medication can be prescribed. Other advantages of TEM over traditional colorectal surgery include a better view of the lesion for the doctor, easier access to higher tumors in the rectum, more precise removal of the tumor, decreased hospital stay, and fewer risks. Wentz says he had a positive experience. As far as the surgery, excellent. Went in one day, out the next day, back to work in a couple days, no heavy lifting for two weeks, which I try not to do anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Went will see Dr. Finan every three months for two years and then every six months for three years following his TEM to monitor his colon health. While TEM was a good match for Went, it's only appropriate for patients with early stage or T1 cancers of the rectum. If you have a cancer, there's still some risk in doing the TEM because there is a small chance that cancer cells have spread to the lymph nodes and we would not be able to identify that. So that's why we reserve this for only select patients that have a very favorable tumor. Thanks to TEM, Went not only found the right treatment for his colorectal cancer, but peace of mind as well. As we went through it and as I got confidence in it and went through the procedure, Hey, nothing to it. So felt a lot better about it and uh, feel good about talking about it and telling people that uh, this is a good thing to do. 
For more information on transanal endoscopic microsurgery, call Dr. Kelly Finan with Our Lady of the Lake Physician Group at 225-767-1156.